to the second episode of our Flipgrid edition. So once again, simply go to flipgrid.com. And log into your account if you already have an account. And once you automatically save your password, you can go there. But if not, then you will be asked to type your password. So, so these are the three grids that represent my classes. Let's go to Flipgrid orientation. And we have the topics or the lessons that I created for my classes. This time around, I'll show you or give you a quick tour of the things that you can find aside from my grids. You can actually go to your My Activity. And in your My Activity, you have right there your dashboard summary that tells you how many grids you created, the topics that you created, and the total number of videos posted for the day or for the week. Your achievements are also indicated right there, and you can share it to your Facebook account to make sure that you are welcoming everyone to Flipgrid. There, these are the sample achievements that you can have. You can be a voice ambassador, an educator levels right there. And recent videos are the videos that are actually inside your grids or topics, okay? Let's highlight another video and I think it's really nice to see them. Hello, teacher and everyone. I know that we've been studying with each other for four weeks, but we don't really know each other very well yet. Um, like we just seen the face of each other in Zoom and I think everyone would like to know more about each other. So today I am glad to make an introduction video about myself to all of you and I hope that you will be able to get more information about me at Okay, so that's a sample video and that was made by a student who's very, very young and new to Flipgrid, but she was able to pull it off. In your grids, once again, you can see the, uh, the, the classes. Mixtapes is like your playlist. When you add a mixtape, it will ask you to create a mixtape title. And you have the flip row right there, which you can also change or edit. You can describe what is it about. Just trying. You can also add password protection so that no one else can access it. And click create. When you click create, you can now add videos to your mixtapes. So how do we add the videos to your mixtape? You just need to click... The cassette icon, if, if you're a millennial, you might have not seen this before. It looks like this, okay, this button. And let's try. Then you can add it to mixtapes. Select the playlist or the mixtape and click add. Got it. And then maybe we'd like to add another one from me again. And click add. Got it. Okay, let's check. So what's the purpose of this mixtape? It's like when you share it, all of those amazing videos that you would like to highlight will be in your playlist or in your mixtapes. Another one is GridPal. GridPal is a way wherein you can connect with your fellow Flipgrid educators around the globe. Whenever you see a plus sign right there, it means they are currently active and these are some of the names of those teachers or educators who activated their what's what we call grid pals so you can hide it 
or you can make it active. If you make it active, then you will be connected to the whole world. You have to share something about your Flipgrid and then what's, what's the level that you're teaching, your subject, and then your location. Click Next. Okay, now you will be asked for your social media communications like your email and so on and so forth. You can invite them by via email and so on, or you can add your Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and then click join grid valves. And you're done. But for now, we're not gonna do that. Okay? And we have the Disco Library. The Disco Library is such an amazing platform, especially for those teachers who don't like to create new ideas, but just love to recreate ideas provided by the Disco Library. It's called Disco Library because it means Discovery Library, wherein you discover a lot of activities right there on your fingertips. Let's say we click Home Learning Experiences. Maybe you would like your students to create an activity, what's in your bag, or would you rather? Let's try would you rather. So this is already a template ready made for you. Would you rather find a unicorn or find a genie? And you can also edit this. How? You can just simply select a grid. We'll give it to orientation and then click add. And here it is, you can edit the title, would you rather or not, like that. And then you can add something right there, would you rather, hmm, would you rather stay at home, let's see, stay at home. And maybe we'd like to add a little bit of an emoji or in school. Okay, so you can set the time limit, you can activate video moderation, and so on and so forth. You can also add an attachment if you like them to, to see an example maybe. And the title for your attachment, the date that you would like to launch it, and then uh, when you say freeze date, if you like it to close at a certain period of time. So let's say you would like it to be freeze by August 5, 2020. Okay, here you have additional video features for your students, so they can do selfies and videos. You can also edit that. You like it to be selfie only or video only. Video title, the counts, the sticky notes, video editing if you would like to allow them to edit that video, attachment link, allow students to like other student videos. I like that. And student to student replies. Maybe I don't like that. Okay, so that's it. And here is where you can edit your feedback or your rubric so when you're doing that you can customize the feedback and create your criteria let's say clarity of speech and content i like that and click update if you're done there you go we are done and we can share this to your google classroom or just simply copy the link to any of your social media devices or messaging apps or click create a QR code so that you can post it anywhere you like. So again, the, the, there are more ideas here in the Disco library where you can discover ready-made templates of certain activities that you would like your students to actually give it a try. So you just need to really explore the possible options in the disco playlist or library and i think you you will find what you're looking for you can also even type in your search bar what the specific topic that you like let's say you would like them to talk about pets there you go we have a lot of choices right there for pets it's for life and Here's Sunnah.
additional topic or suggestion. Okay? Lastly, we also have shorts. And in here, you can record a short video and share it with anyone. And that allows you to empower your students that if they can actually do it, why not you as their educator or teacher? So that short could be a highlight video for you or your students. Feel free to share whatever it is that you have learned for today or you can also ask questions in the comment section if you have some clarifications related to Flipgrid. Whether it be for a project, for sharing activity, or just simply for a speaking task, Flipgrid may be the right platform for you. It is simply TikTok made educational. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. See you again next time for more videos. Thank you and be a blessing, everyone.